people already asked me if the remix contest got cancelled. He says, don't be so defensive. I'm trying to bring it your way. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Today, a full vlog through the entire day. My day as a DJ and producer. We're starting off with just heading to the studio. The most amazing place on planet Earth. At least to me. Raining, it's foggy, but I still absolutely love this place. All done with music production, music production courses. It's, it's really getting way too much. I've never expected that, but still better than, than nothing going on. I got a couple of news for you. So first up, unfortunately, the remix contest is still delayed. People already asked me if the remix contest got canceled. 100% not. It's still going on, you can still download the stamps down below in the description and it will be online on Splice within the next 7 days. Maybe tomorrow, maybe in 7 days, 100% in 7 days, the latest. You can then go there, download the stamps and you got another, I think, 6 weeks, maybe even 8 weeks to finish your remix. Send it there, if you're now already done, you can just upload it and you have more time to get your votes. There will be a community winner a third place, second place and first place that also gets some hardware as a prize. To be more precise, these little speakers, those are the little, little, little brothers of the really huge ones. They're perfect for mixing on the go, mixing in small spaces or as a second pair of monitors. And they got the same nice clicky button. And now this entire month, the entire January, we're reducing the price for sign up. We reduce it by almost 20%, so everyone that is interested to release their music on all major platforms, keep 100% of the rights, keep 100% of the profits, just apply, there's a link in the description, it's, it's still only invite, so we listen to your music and only if we like it we release it, so no absolute bullshit, so if you just burp into a mic, that's not a song, we only release full finished songs. And on top of that, for free, we do a little bit of promotion on our Spotify playlist. You can get a repost on my SoundCloud. Just um, get in touch with us and we'll figure it out at the moment again. Like, uh, I think it's 19% off. And now I actually got a little bit of time to finally have some fun with that new gear. As you know, I got these 500 series. I got the cables a day ago. Now it's time to connect the cables to the 500 series, to the sound card. And maybe let something run through the SSL bus compressor. It's not a real one, but it has way more options. It has a mix knob and it also has this knob where you can feed only above 60 hertz, for example, the sound into the compressor so that the kick gets less compressed than the rest of the signal. Perfect for mixed drum parallel compression. And there's also even a feed um, to do side chaining. I think it's for side chaining. You could like plug something in here and trigger the compressor. I mean, analog is fun, like clicking everything together, the big cables and the knobs, it's like, it's beautiful. I've now set it up in a way, like this microphone is now running through here into the sound card. From the sound card to the 500 module, to be precise, it's going into the X filter. 500 by Elysia. From there, it's running through a cable back into the SSL compressor and from there into the sound card. I first had it set up in a way where the mic was directly going into the X filter, into the SSL, into the sound card, but it first has to go to the sound card, then through the 500 series back into the sound card because none of the modules has phantom power. This module right here is a preamp, it has phantom power. But the guy that built it told me it, it doesn't have the, the tube. 
So without the tube, it doesn't do anything. So I hope he will be able to place the tube in here because the preamp is actually what I'm going for. I want to have a setup, a vocal recording setup because I think when it comes to recording vocals, the preamp does the most effect and the chain like this actually makes sense. The preamp will add that typical tube preamplified sound and running it through the compressor makes sense just to get the levels a little bit in check. It's a lot easier to record having a compressor in between that does a tiny bit just to keep the levels in check so you don't always have to readjust depending on how the singer is singing, how far they are from the mic, how close. Also sounds better to them, so this makes sense. I will build this up, just, just waiting for that one tube. But let's actually test it. Just the mic and the mic going through the filter and the compressor. Another DJ chorus all done. I checked out the 500 series, it's working. I, I didn't have the time to A and B compare because we had another student. I really have to think about something to make this disappear out of my schedule. It's fun, but I want to make music full time, just making music, the DJ course thing, the music production course thing. It's just like a byproduct of having this huge studio. So slowly but steady, the other guys will take over. And Leonard just called me. Um, the remix contest should be now live. Link in the description. <laughs> Another DJ course all done for today. This time big room and you know how much I love big room. The 500 series module, we will continue that on another day. Now it's time for party, birthday party. A chilled, relaxed one for old people like me. <laughs> Great evening, it was a lot of fun. Definitely a difference to all of the holiday partying with the drinking, just like bowling, easy. We even hacked the entire game. <laughs> kind of, kind of. Don't get too close. 